Today, we're talking about Starlink. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Tom Sykes. I'm a TV cameraman and I also run a company called Solo 16 Broadcast. We have a small TV studio, which I'm talking to you from in now, and we primarily offer live streaming services for both television and the corporate market. One of the uh, dilemmas, I suppose, that we face with live streaming is areas that we go to to create a broadcast where there is no 4G connection and the, the venue can't supply an internet connection at all. So up to now, we have been hiring KA satellite dishes from a variety of different companies, both ones on vehicles and ones not on vehicles, until today. So we are trying the new Starlink RV model and we're going to do a series of videos on this, but this is the first one. Just having a quick look at the unboxing side of it to see what you actually get. It's turned up while we were on leave. So let's have a look inside and see what you get with this model. It turned up in a box with Starlink written on it, so it's not particularly subtle. Um, and I'm expecting fairly minimal stuff. So you get a hmm, bit of branding. Good for white balancing. Now, I've been having a look, and a lot of people are keeping this plastic, this formed plastic, and I think that's probably a very good idea. I'll explain that in a minute when we talk about storage options. So let's get that out of the way. So inside, you've got another piece of formed plastic. I don't know if you can see that there. And we have very little protection actually the stand base stand there alley by the feel of it or metal and we have another piece of protection and the actual dish itself wow so this is the rv model and this is designed for motorhomes uh, primarily in america obviously it's available in the uk this particular one is designed to be portable so you don't just necessarily rig it on your building you can move it around from job to job um, some very basic instructions there of how to connect it all up uh, first impressions um, it feels very plasticky and not like um, kind of the broadcast kit i suppose i'm used to i don't want to force anything because it's all motorized but it's nice and small i mean there's my there's my hand. Um, so here is the router. Quite a funky design, as you can see there. Reminds me of 2001 Space Odyssey, especially from that angle. You'll know what I'm talking about if you've seen that film. Um, so let's put that to one side. And then the last thing we have in here is a certain amount of cable. So at this point, before I carry on doing anything, I'm just going to talk about the prices for this. So we paid £440. This is in June, uh, end of May, June 2022. We paid £440 excluding VAT for this kit. £45 delivery. 97 pounds in VAT so for under 500 quid we've got the kit now the other thing that we've bought uh, which is here which is an additional this is only a wi-fi system so it doesn't um, have an ethernet option so we bought the ethernet kit here which is literally the same connector that they have there with an ethernet port on one end and the cable port on the other end. Okay, so back to the actual dish, let's get the bits out. Um, so there is this plastic uh, vac formed um, base, um, which you can see here. And I think that's worth keeping actually. 
uh, because when it goes into a pelly case or whatever I'm going to use for transporting it, you know, that formation of it, if I don't get something custom cut, I think it'd be beneficial. Power supply for the Ethernet adapter. So, uh, for the router, sorry, I'll lose that for a minute. And let's just have a quick look at the stand. It's got some tethering points on the stand if you wanted to bolt that through. Let's connect this up. Oh, there we go. And the other thing you get is regulatory notices. So this uh, cable here plugs into your router. That carries the power down here to the dish. So the next thing we need to talk about is the uh, subscriptions. So effectively, one of the nice things about this and one of the main reasons we bought it is that it's pay as you go. So it's £114 a month for unlimited usage within that calendar month. And then effectively you just unsubscribe if you don't, you can, it's called pausing the service. And then you don't have to pay anything for six months or 12 months or however long until you need it again. And then when you unpause the service, it starts straight away and you have it for another 30 days or until you cancel that subscription. So 114 quid for a single connectivity is still well cheaper than hiring a dish from a third party. The downsides, as this goes to uh, the edit suite, shall we say, in June, is that there's not 100% uptime with this service. So you couldn't rely 100% on it. There are still times when the satellites aren't passing over quickly enough or something may obstruct them, or we wouldn't use this in its entirety at the moment. We'd have to do a job with a 4G backup or a wired connection. Um, we could put the primary internet load through this dish, but it's not 100% reliable. But the more satellites they put up in the air, uh, which they're doing all the time, we hope that um, that will change. So the next thing we need to do, and this will be in the next video, is actually start looking at some tests and look at how, as a cameraman, we can rig this. So if you found this video useful, please do like and subscribe. We're going to do more of these. And the next video, as I said, will be testing the Starlink RV to see how it works.